Let's do face controls then. Let's do face controls. Let's start with a new scene, in fact, and and see how we can apply the whole face mask and you know how to, how to how to operate this thing. So I'll use my favorite gray Genesis character because I like him so much. Avoiding the nudity on YouTube. Let me go and grab a male character and see if I can remember how to add the face controls. So it says in the description that you can add it either to the figure or to the face of the figure. It doesn't seem to matter, which is which is nice. Let me go and brighten the scene up a little bit. And go and find the product, first of all. So it's under Anatomy in the Smart Content tab. Up here, Genesis 3 and 8 face controls. But it looks like there's, a, there's not an issue with the smart content. I just don't exactly know which one's which. So they're all called Genesis 3 face controls and 8 face controls. It's probably implied by the folder in which they are, but it's... Um, it's it's not immediately obvious which one's which. So in the regular content library, you can find them under the figure, under the gender, and under the pose folder. But uh, in my case, if I wanted to find out where they are in the smart content, I can right click and choose browse to file location. And it is then implied by the folder that this is in fact the Genesis 8 male version. It should probably be named that. So this is male, this is correct. I'll just select the figure, double click this to add my face controls on the guy. And this is the same way you do it for Genesis 8.1, except for you get these fa face plates with 8.1. And then with this, I believe, you can go and click on any of these nodes here and then go and move the guy's face around and create your own expressions that way. The eyes and, you know, you can click the these things and adjust the brow positions and do all kinds of things. So this is exactly how it works with 8.1. And in order to apply poses, this is the other cool thing I like about it. In order to apply poses to this, you can, there's like a vast amount of, there's a huge pose collection that comes with this and they have extracted this from the animations as single poses and they need to be applied to the to the actual uh, face plate, face control plate that's how you do that very cool it's like a power pose overlay exactly so in uh, i think on on power pose this isn't power pose compatible but if you had the if you select the regular figure's head and you head over to power pose you have these these kinds of these are the regular control dots but you can go and switch over to face and then you have all these things and the face plate is essentially like an overlay that'll make you select things i suppose more intuitively i believe there's also a way to move the whole face plate around so if you select the actual face controls. There's no controller for the face controls right now, but I think in parameters, you could go and move it up or down manually. If like on Dwayne's, in Dwayne's case, Dwayne is a character who's much smaller. I can go and adjust the position of the face rig to somewhere that's more appropriate for the character. So I believe Kevin, you had issues where the face controls were not exactly on the face and that's that's something you can just adjust here uh, i all move it off to the side that's also a possibility if you want to if you want to see that kind of off the face if you want to see the face and then uh, actually select these things from here you can do that too have fun making expressions with more with more morphs than there are currently available on the on the uh, Genesis figure. So that's kind of the point of this. But what I found amazing about this product is that it doesn't only work with Genesis 3 and 8, and I think you can make it work with 8.1 as well. You, it comes with a library of poses that will apply to the face controls. And let me show you that. So that's under the smart content in poses. There's vast amounts in here. These are all expressions. They're all kind of, because it's smart content, they're all mingled together. Uh, if I wanted to see them for Genesis 8 male, I just go and filter that G8M. Oops. 
G8M. And then I see all the male expressions. Don't judge it by the thumbnail, but if you go and with the face control selected, you can go and dial this in and see my man is making good faces now. Any kind of faces. Which is very, very cool. And if you think, well, I prefer my expressions to have dials, you have to do a little bit of manual work, but it is possible to do that. And my tool of choice for those things is always a puppeteer. So I was thinking recently, hey, I don't have any decent expressions for Genesis 8 right now, and I'd love some. And then I remembered I have this product, so this is going to be fantastic for all the expressions that I need. Sometimes I don't want it to be that strong, so I can go and dial in the neutral expression and go over to... I might even brighten this up a little bit more here. This is too bright. That's good. It's perfect. I might go and use my favorite puppeteer tool for that. So let me go and change the, select my face controls again, then head over to puppeteer and in edit mode, just drop a neutral point in here. And then I'll go and maybe add this expression to it. Add a point here, then I add one here. So I'll just apply a pose. Once it's done it, I'll create a pose point for that in Puppeteer and pick a few expressions that I think might be, might be suitably portray this guy as being minor annoyed, <laughs> like so. I can do that and then go hit the preview button here and then I can go and modulate between these things and that's kind of cool so now I have my endless possibilities of having this expression slightly less intense I just go and move the slider further back to the neutral point and then I can interpolate between extreme and less extreme so if these poses are too extreme for me if they if I want them more extreme I just move my point over the extension of the of the pole. So this is 100%, this is technically 200%, and this is 0% if you wanted to do that. And then, of course, you can add it to a timeline, you can add it to a slider, you can save it out as your own uh, pose preset that you need. If you don't want to see the face controls, you can just go make that invisible. They're still going to be there and still deforming the face. And that is just... That's the endless possibilities that you have with 100 poses for both the male and the female. It's unbelievable. It's very, very cool. I love it. Let's go back to the neutral and set another neutral point down here and go have a look at some of the other expressions. Maybe this one here, like <gasps> that's happy. Very good. I like it. These are all the happy ones. Happy goes here. Maybe then this one. This one's kind of a sad one. Sad one goes here. And then we'll have this one. That's kind of crazy as well. But, but nice, so they don't look... What, what I like about these expressions is that they don't look... You know, if I use the sliders and you see the happy expression being like this. That's not happy, is it? That's not happy. That's always what I, what I miss in other expressions, that there's a lot of facial muscle stuff going on. And these seem to do exactly what I'm looking for. So I, I forgot I had this product. And for the poses alone, it's it's worth it, I think. Especially when you use Puppeteer to literally move them and amalgamate them. It's a wonderful feature. I really like that. <laughs> oh my, Michael, don't forget to go via my affiliate link. If you go and type exclamation mark DAS in the chat, let me do it, then you will get a link that gets me a small commission of every purchase you make on the DAS store. I would greatly appreciate that, my friend. Before you check out, click that link. Please, thank you. <laughs> and this is also on sale sometimes. So I pick this up on sale and I think, wow, this is awesome. But it's not easy to get started with it. So this is kind of a brief overview of how you get there. There's a lot of other files that come with this product and they're not obvious from the smart content. So just just so that we all know where you find that. Sadly, that didn't, that didn't do it, did it. Let me go and put you, this is a, why didn't my, my affiliate link go in there? Let me go and do, give you one manually. Forward slash dash, there we go. That should do it. 
Thank you, Michael. This is the link that you need to use. I don't know why my bot didn't do that. Maybe the bot disconnected. That could be when we disconnected. Maybe the bot disconnected. That's that's possible. But yeah, so there we go. This is the link that um, that we need. And that'll get you to the latest releases on the desk store but it's got that affiliate cookie and you know if you click that and then check out we're best mates <laughs> thank you so here we go in smart content you find the face controls under anatomy and in here you have anatomy these are the face control plates then under animations you have these motion capture animations that three of which are included one of which i've shown you with the king richard the third um, thing you can apply that to the face control plate so when you apply any of these poses or animations then you need to go and have that face controls thing selected and you can move it in the parameters tab but that is only kind of only half of it there's a lot more uh, like in regards to um, documentation and tutorials and it doesn't really show up in here not even in the regular content library tab, which I believe shows you. I don't actually know where that is here. It's under people. There we go. So if you go to Genesis 3 female and I think under poses and there you find the Genesis face controls and then you know which face plate it is under here. You find another folder with the actual expressions and then you have the uh, phonemes and then you have the sample animations here but you don't have documentation but there is documentation and videos included with this it's just not very obvious to find so i found it by using install manager it's another trick i want to show you and something that will come in handy if you're thinking hey i wonder if the if the developer has actually included something and i'm just i just don't find it then in here this is this is everything that is installable this is stuff i've got installed if you go and search for face controls once you've got it installed face controls there it is on the install tab then you have these two parts here so face controls basically two parts to the product and the documentation is hidden in part two and what i like doing is selecting it on the right hand side of install manager there's this little option here when you left click on that little icon of that, that arrow you see the show installed files and that gives you full list of things that make up this product and not only do you get to see the the poses and all that you also see first one audio sample links for animations that's a pdf file there's also documentation dynamics yz to das documentation dynamics to das studio tutorial and there's several others if you look through this menu you will find them there's i'm going to show you the the actual location for these things as well so if you click on that the pdf is opened automatically or that folder is open automatically and um yeah there is uh, there's there's stuff in here there's stuff in here including videos that you can have a look at another location for this is in fact your das 3d library while we're here it has this readme's folder and it's usually full of stuff and one of them does actually tell you that there's uh, face controls in here. That's this one here. And that's a HTML document. So if you double click that, you will get usage instructions for that. So it is in there. It's just I wish they had made a better effort to show us where these important documentation pieces are. But if you go through the file list in Install Manager, you will find it. Yes. And absolutely amazing uh, the amount of expressions and the seams that are included with this product so for that alone and to make your characters really look alive it is absolutely worth it it's a little clunky to add that and it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to but it is absolutely well worth it to do that if you are in a situation where you're using genesis 8.1 you might be wondering can i use these expressions with genesis 8.1 and the answer is yes but you need to apply the Genesis 8 face control to the 8.1 figure. You cannot, and I'll show you the implications of that. Let me go back to my smart content and load a Genesis 8.1 figure. 8.1 male. 
he has his own faceplate that comes with the 8.1 starter essentials and it has the same faceplate but it doesn't have the expressions so that's kind of important to realize and that is under i believe anatomy there it is the 8.1 female and male face control so if i double click that and add that to him i have the same thing so this is available for free with the starter essentials and it has the same uh this the same way of whoops i'm so sorry dude i didn't mean to do that i meant to click on your face controls there we go uh, so you can move him the same way you can try this out if you don't have the product you can try this out with 8.1 and um, for free but if you go and select the face controls where is that man face controls and then you go and try and apply a pose from the face controls product which is here <laughs> poses i'll look for g8m again if i go and try to apply that now it's not going to work and it's because the face plate is slightly different i don't know what they've done uh, it's it's somehow different but the workaround is to literally go and remove that 8.1 face plate and just go and put the put hello put the included genesis 8 faceplate on that'll work just as well and once you select that you can go and pick a pose and then add that and that'll make these expressions work on 8.1 as well just in case you're wondering that's how to do it there that is all i know about face controls at this point and it is a lot of fun to play with so i'm going to make extensive use of that in that comic project that i want to build and you know it's been it's been 10 years in the making maybe eventually in about five years i'll get it off the ground and these expressions will just so so come in handy for that